Hello everybody, my name is Ed and welcome back to Night in the Woods. In the last episode, our main character may return to a party with a few friends and even an ex-boyfriend and got shit-faced. She then nearly threw up in the car on the way home and we learnt about B that actually her mum was dead and we were being drunk and insensitive and now we're about to wake up in a weird drunken nightmare. If you guys are excited about that, be sure to like the video, subscribe to Gamehog if you already haven't, and leave us a comment letting us know if you're enjoying the series. We are where we left off. In the dark, unknowing with a baseball bat. I look so cute, even with a baseball bat in the dark. Ah, okay, so X is swing. I imagine I'll have to do that at some point. Is this some kind of drunken dream? A drunken nightmare? Am I seeing B's parents? Is that what this is? I mean, this is very... Yeah! Yeah! I smashed it! I smashed it! I did it! I did exactly what I wanted to do. Can I still get in the cars? Wait! Yes! This is awesome! Yes! Yes! Smash everything, me! It's what you were made to do! Oh, I thought I was gonna have to fend off some kind of enemy, but no, this is vandalism in its finest! Yes! Swing that bat, me! Your big neon lightsaber! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Feel the force. Feel it. Well, this has been a lot of fun. Not really sure what else I can do. Wait, I need to destroy! I must destroy everything in my path! I'm a vandal cat! You know, one of those vandal cats. I must destroy everything. No, I missed the path. Go back up the path, come on. More things to kill, yay! Death, giant bowling balls will ignore those. Can I hit them? I cannot. Smash! There's red crows, or red-eyed crows flying around. What the hell is happening? What's going on? Smash, 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 smash! Yeah! Good, that's fine. Okay, let's maybe crack on, because there's probably some stuff I'm missing whilst I'm having too much fun being a vandal. What the absolute fuck? That makes awesome noises. Whoever did the sound design for this, you are a god. What the fuck? What are you? What? Are, what is this? What's happening? Is this the right thing to be doing? Am I meant to destroy you? Everything else in the game seems to be telling me to do this. Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot if it falls on you, May. Don't let it kill you. Swing. No? Come on, I can't die in here. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I get a nasty feeling that's gonna fall on me. Yes! It's nearly done! Surely this is nearly smashed. Oh, I'm waking up! I'm waking up! Did I destroy something in my dream? Was that a part of my subconscious? That's the morning tone. We're awake. Part two, Weird Autumn. Maybe I should have done that in the last episode so we had a natural starting point. But welcome to part two. This is gonna be fun. I'm excited. Well, it's the morning. Better drink some fizzy Diet Coke. I wish that was a lie. This is my coffee. Wake up, cat. Yep, let's get through this quickly. Yes, we've seen you put on your shoes several times. Well, that was a weird one. I feel awful. I probably look awful. Ugh, I'm gonna burn this room down with me in it. Live out my remaining days as a shrieking ghost. Yep. Okay, well, let's see if our friends are online so we can talk to them. Oh god. Hey dude, you okay? Last night was pee intense. B said you're okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a snack falcon all day, every day. <laughs> Come by if you're not dead. Sincerely, Gregory. P.S. Bound jab later, oh my god. The end. Huh, okay. And, hey, sorry about last night. Hope you're feeling okay. Um, yep. I'm at the pickaxe all day, if you want to stop by. Let's go stop by our friends. I'd like to see them and apologize. Oh, good. I was right. I look like utter hell. Burn it! The little nuanced dialogues in this are the thing that makes me love it so much. Afternoon, us. See, it's just... This is where the charm of these games all comes from, is being really decently dialogue-driven. I mean, the art style and everything else and the characters have made this beautiful. I have no real problems with this game so far. It's narratively perfect, well, at least to me, and I'm really enjoying the game. I hope you guys are as well, because not many of you are watching the series, but fuck it. I'm going to carry on playing this because I want to see how it ends. Hey, hun, you look like crap. Yep. Rough night? Nope, just tired. Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it. It's cool, Mum. I want to talk about it. I saw Cole at the party in the woods. From senior year? Yeah, he was home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? 
I don't really remember. Kind of. Sort of. I don't know. Well, he's a jerk, hun. No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out the towny centre. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines. Great. Hun, I do not want you up on those things. Mum, I'm 20. Uh-huh, which means you can go to jail for it. No one is going to jail for running around on power lines. Psh, they'd never catch me. No one's going for ja to jail for running around on power lines. It happens. Yeah, if the cops had literally nothing else to do. Okay, good point. Aunt Molly would be so delighted to arrest me. <laughs> she might just. Oh, it's a woman? Oh, okay, fair enough. That's why they're calling her Aunt Molly. Kind of makes sense. And anyway, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mum, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story a thousand times. Fried, honey. The paper... The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mum, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. So what are you up to today? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to see what Greg and B are up to. You all going to go do something together? I don't know. I, I don't think they hang out much. Past messing around with their old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we each only have so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No, God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Ugh. These lovely exchanges with the mother. I really like this. I think that's how I think you know when a game's done well, because I actually feel like I'm a part of this. Well, it sure is fall. All the road work crammed in before winter makes like half the town inaccessible. Unless you want to walk around the long way for like 20 minutes, which I mean, no. Fair enough, a little bit of dialogue there saying it's going to take you 20 minutes to get to the other side of this. Not sure how interesting that is, but you know, the option is always there. Hey, May. Hey, Selmers. Did I see you with the journal the other day? Oh yeah, doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hag has given me one, too. Oh, okay. Did you have anger problems, too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther farms. The Ham Panther? Oh, jeez. So, Dr. Hag sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do, though. And I've become a very good poet. Wanna hear one? Yeah. My heart is a dankness. The memeiest of dankness. But when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a Eunice. <laughs> that's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh, we're just friends. <laughs> oh, God, I love this game so much. What are you doing? If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him, up there on the roof next door. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick which part of him you're going to sue. Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know! Amazing. I wonder what's going on up there. And I wonder what this cat grave is. I wonder if I'll ever find out. I must find out. There's a reason it's there. I like all the little characters. They've bothered to put so much art into random citizens. And they feel real, because I've never seen them before. Hey, B. Who's this? How's it going, dude? Got a job here. That's cool. Oh, nice! Actually, I'm lying. It sucks. Oh. Jeez. Hey, B. Yo. Sorry about last night. I get woozy on cold medicine, so I don't really know what I expected to happen. Sorry for what I said. You know, I don't really remember it much, so whatevs. Hooray for alcohol. New town motto. Band practice later? Haha. <laughs> yep. I'm amazed it's still a thing. We were barely even a band in high school. Eh, it's fun. Get to hang out with Angus. How did you even find- how did you even end up doing it? When Casey left town, Angus told me that Greg was really sad, so I volunteered to be the new drummer. Well, drummer, it's a laptop, B. It sure is, May. It sure is. I'll see you later. I've got some work to do. All right. That was fun. I enjoyed that little exchange, and now I don't feel like there's as much tension. If you didn't watch the last episode, at the end of the last episode, we got way too drunk, and we were in a car journey. B was driving us back from the party, and we were saying, Oh, apologize to your mum for me. She's so nice. And B told us that her mum died of cancer, and May knew she would died of cancer. So, it was a bit of a difficult moment. What? No! No, 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 no! Pastabilities is gone?! No more pizza delivery, no more Big Sal! No more special birthdays! This is the worst thing that's happened to this town since the flood that took out... 
The petting zoo? The mini golf ice cream? The petting zoo! Thank goodness all the animals swam for safety on the roof of the tire place. Who knew goats were such good swimmers? I am so freaking depressed now. That is fucking depressing. How dark is that? We don't have a pizza delivery place anymore in this game. Oh, hey. Hey, Jeremy? Jeremy Wharton? No one calls me that. Germ, right? Germ warfare. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so tickled by all these today. Yep, that's an okay name. Your name is May. Yep, that's an okay name. Okay, <laughs> let's let's not do that again. It's the snack factory. Yeah, well, look who it is. Yep, alive for another day. How are you feeling? I was feeling pretty bad, but I've been across town and I don't know, that helped. Fresh air, or as fresh as it gets around here. Delicious. Uh, just stopping in, gonna roll out. We're gonna head out to band practice. Oh. Oh, that was very quick. Okay, cool. Uh, what are you doing here? Practice. Yes. I crashed my bike once on a broke. Uh, whoa. I crashed my bike once and a broken spring went through my leg. Jeez. It was kind of cool. Oh yeah, I can see that. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy's weird. <laughs> Germ warfare. Alright kids, I gotta head out soon. Where are you going? Family stuff. Oh, okay. Just for a night. Okay, are we doing this? That was a weird exchange. Yeah, let's do this! Wait, I don't know the song, like, at all, and I barely remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. Zero self-confidence, huh? Nope, I just don't know the song. You stupid jerks. Okay, well, let's play Weird Autumn. Oh, didn't, did not mean to do that. Yeah! Dun, dun, dun. Yeah! More band practice! This is great! I'm doing way better than I did before! I wonder if there's actually full versions of these songs- OH FUCK MY ass anywhere, because I'd quite like to hear them. Ah, oh, man, have you seen her today? Weird! Autumn! I only knew her a week before she went away. Weird Autumn. Weird Autumn. Out on Arbor Street, I saw an autumn leave. Her family drove away. I can't do this for much longer. You guys have already seen me play through one of these, so this has been fun, but let's just kind of fast forward to the end because, yeah, I've, I've had enough of playing the band stuff. It remains. Yeah, that was the worst song ever. Pretty good. Yeah, that was okay. Not bagging. I don't know this song either. We've done. We've had this conversation before. Hey, hey, dude. Angus leaving for the night. Yeah, gonna be bored. Or rather, I would be if I didn't have plans. <laughs> plans? Crimes. Ooh, crimes. You up for some crimes? Hmm. I might be hanging out with B. Let me check first. Cool. Let me know. Hey, Angus. You heading off? That was pretty loud. Is that good? Loud's fine. Okay. Hey, B, what's going on? You want to do something tonight? Um, I promise it'll be an improvement on last night. What were you thinking of doing? Uh, hmm. Want to go to the mall? The mall? Yeah. Fort Lucene. Where, like we did when we were kids. When's the last time you were at Fort Lucene Mall? I don't know, five years ago? Yeah. Uh, what? You know what? Yeah, let's go. Great. Yep. Great. I promise it'll be great. Okay. We sure we're doing this? Let me check with Greg real quick. Yeah, let's go mauling. Let me check with Greg real quick. Okie doke. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, you up for some crimes? Hmm. I might be hanging out with B. Let me check first. Crimes, maul. Uh, I feel like I want to try and... Uh, I, li I like B because I feel like I fucked things up with her. So I want to try and rectify that. We sure we're doing this? Yep, let's let's go mauling. Great. Cool. Let's go to the mall with B. Glad I didn't puke in here. Me too. Maybe I'll just never drink again. Or maybe you take it easy next time. I don't know if I do moderation well. I can see that. I think the term is risk-taking behavior. Are you seeing someone about this? Hanging with you is working pretty well tonight. No pressure. I should be getting paid by the hour. I got gum. I'm gonna turn on the radio now. <laughs> Oh, these are such pleasant exchanges. Whoever's written the dialogue for this, you've done such a good job. Old gods of the Fort Lucerne Mall. They went looking for the old gods. What was that line at the beginning? What the hell happened? Um, the internet? We had the internet when we used to come here. What happened to the carousel? Sold it, I guess. 
Who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. What happened to the bookstore? Also the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm gonna make a sign that says the internet and hold it up until you're done asking. It's fair enough, it's pretty stupid questions. Why is Marge Simpson here? What happened to- Internet. <laughs> the dollar empire, and yet dollar empire's still here? I think this is the one thing the internet can't compete with. I used to go near when I was a kid, I guess. Yep, that is true. You revolution Oh my god, the you rev is still here! Haha, <laughs> yeah, this old thing. I can feel the edginess from here. Just looking in there makes me feel old. We are so gonna do this. There is no way I'm going in there. Well, I'm dragging you in there, B, and there ain't shit you can do about this. Oh, for God's sake. Holy crap. I'm 14 again. Yep, pretty nuts in here. Hey, isn't that- Shut up. Who's this? Hey, ladies. Hello, lady. Just so you know, we have 20% off select t-shirts. Oh, actually, she's quite big. Just so you know, we have 20% off select t-shirts. Ooh, t-shirts. Yep. Thanks a lot. Okay. Catch you later. All right. That felt like it was very weird for you for some reason. Why? Haha, <laughs> nice. Dead Party Boy stickers in 2017. I think they're back in. Hmm, that's cool. I bet you listen to them. Uh, yeah, they're good. Yeah, if you're like 30 years old and sad, I'm getting there. Very funny. Hmm, can I- Wow, I haven't seen a belt buckle in years, at least not fashionable ones. Mike at the shop has one with a rattlesnake driving a semi-truck. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Cover me, I'm gonna grab one. What? No! Shh! You are not doing this! Dude, we're gonna steal a belt buckle? I better steal the coolest fucking belt buckle. You're really gonna do this? Shh, be cool. Shoplifting is no big deal. This isn't my first time doing crimes. What other crimes have you done? Shoplifting? Vandalism? Piracy? Shoplifting again now? Anyway, I just do the easy crimes. How is this stupid idea easy? Our eyes evolved to notice movement. Like dinosaurs? If the dinosaurs are moving... Wait, that's not... Never mind. So as long as you're perfectly still when the clerk is watching, like, you're gonna freeze when she looks over. Even if you're in the middle of putting the thing in your pocket. And this is gonna work because... Dinosaurs. Just. Like. Dinosaurs. I'm gonna pretend not to know you until you're done, okay? Ooh. Oh, he's looking! I've gotta- wait. Don't move, don't move. Okay, quick, go, 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 go! He's not looking. He's about to look. He's looking. Okay, quick, go, 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 go! Wait a sec. Okay, quick! I did it! I did it! I did it! Everything's fine! I put it in my pocket! I stole things! I'm a rebel! Oh, that felt so dangerous! Oh yeah, sweet belt buckle I am never, ever gonna wear rubs against my stomach. This is bad, May. You should steal something now. Pardon? Haven't you ever done, like, any crimes? I mean, yeah, I guess. Hasn't everyone? We'll get back in there, champ. What? No. Beatrice, let me lay this out. One, the security cameras aren't even on in there. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. Three, there is not one mall cop here as far as I can tell. I don't know. I mean, hmm. B, this is an experience. Have it. I'll run interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you and driving away if I get caught. Perfect! Alright, I'm gonna run interference while you do your thing. What do you mean? I'm gonna distract the clerk. I can do this. Okay, I will admit that drawing attention is a talent you have. I'm great at crimes. But what if I get caught? You won't. I'll just start screaming if I have to. This could go badly. How is this a good idea? Let's go. Okay, but if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. Join the club. So, interference. Hey! Uh-huh. I've got a question. T-shirts are 20% off. Yeah, no, I saw. I was wondering about something else. Okay. The name of this store. Am I meant to be controlling that? No, yeah. <laughs> you probably get this question a lot. Try me. Is it like you revolution or like your revolution? So what time do you get off later? Is it like you revolution or like your revolution? You know what? No one has ever asked this, but I think about it all the time. I bet. God, you know what the official business name on our checks is? You revolution radical uff culture uprising Inc. What? Pretty cool place to work, huh? That's really dumb. That's really dumb. Oh god, I know. Like, guys, can't we just be a store that sells cool shit to teens? Yeah, teens go nuts for this shit. The employee discount is also pretty great. I had a job once. I had a 100% discount. Uh-huh. When I stole shit, 
No, I got what you meant the first time. <laughs> I bet you grab things all the time. Well, they're big into prosecuting to the fullest extent of the law here, so... Okay, I'm done looking, let's go! Okay, it was nice to talk to you, bye now. Uh, see ya. I don't think she stole anything, did she? I didn't see her stealing. I was running interference for too long. Why did I do that? You did so well, B. I call the cops on shoplifters at my own store. This? What did you get? Haven't you even shoplifted before? What did you get? Some kind of necklace thing? Nice, nice. Oh, God. Forget it, we're going home now. Really? Yeah. We're, like, out in open waters now. I feel kind of sick. Let's walk it off. Cool. Okay, fine. Let's go upstairs, maybe. Oh, I can't go upstairs. Can I go upstairs? Let's try going upstairs. Upstairs! Nope, can't go upstairs. That's definitely not the button I wanted to press. So, wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh my god, I loved her. Did you ever come to the summer days thing here? Yeah, it'll like squirt people. I still have no idea how they did that. I always assumed it was some guy in there with a squirt gun. No, it was totally a fountain they tricked out to squirt people. That's amazing. <laughs> you know the walkway way up there, past the upper food court thing? Up in the atrium? The what? The ceiling, the glass part that points up. Oh, I know what an atrium is. Yeah. When I was a kid, I thought that that's where God lived? Wow. I don't know. Just remember staring at it when I was a kid. Like, eating a burger, trying to see if I could see God. Like, peeking over or something. Looks like they've got some weird hanging art up there now. It's kind of cool, though. I like it. Want to go up and see? Nah, my knees are killing me from work. Oh, well, I, I kind of wanted to go see it. Do you not want to go see it? Can we go see it together? You up for eating? Let's check out the rest of the mall first. Work up an appetite. I was kind of hungry when we got here. Okay, fine, well, we'll eat. You up for eating? Yeah, fine, let's eat. Yeah, let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat! Okay! I expected more excitement. Mall food court dinner. Oh, what a feeling. Oh, that was... I, I read that wrong, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Sorry. What did you get? You inhaled it before I got a look. Pizza Cato from Gopher? Oh, we're not getting it from Smelterburger. Pizza good from Gopher. Gopher is some good garbage food. Yeah, I wish we'd get one in town. Ooh, that'd be bad for me. It'd be worth it. Remember when Kathy D... Kathy Domingo pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring here? You know what that was about, right? Wasn't Kathy pregnant with... What's his name? Football guy. Ron Bon... <laughs> Ron Boonstra. I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year, and Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled to the stands, My first touchdowns for my beautiful firstborn and his mummy, Kathy Domingo. That's... Or something. Kathy was in the marching band and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cindy like a week later. Oh yeah, see, that's the part I knew about. That's what set off the whole nose ring situation. I wonder what Kathy's up to now. I wonder what Ron's doing. I wonder what happened to Cindy. Uh, I wonder what Ron's doing. Uh, last year he flipped his ATV and the medical bills were really high. So his parents basically had to bail him out. Yeah, that'll happen. He got talking to Kathy again, and now they're married. Worked out for Ron, I guess. You know what the worst part of this story is? The sordid high school drama? Cindy having something ripped out of her face? Ron? At the time, I was like, God moves things around in the strangest ways to bring two people together. Hmm, I guess. I don't know if I even believe in God. Same, really. Thinking about this place, the fountain and the God walkway and stuff. Not knowing how something worked used to seem like magic. Now not knowing means I might be going wrong and may not be able to fix it. Help knowing something... Helped knowing someone was at the controls, you know? Now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. When I was at school, yeah. Uh, don't even want to talk about it. What happened anyway? You want to run around the mall some more? Uh, there's not really much else to run around. We can check out the weird bad art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. I want to run. You can run. I'm going to sit here. I'm tired and sad now. See yourself. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs, and then we'll end this episode. Dude, check out this totally weird art. This all, all this art's so weird. Dude, isn't this weird? This is so weird. Space Four, The Rocks Cosmic, an installation by Rawford Gims, sponsored by Dollar Empire. Caution, do not stand on the art. I can do that. Yay. Oh, I fell. Yep, this is all fine. I can't see anything going wrong here. What's this? Oh, wow. Is this... No. The fountain? <laughs> Fantastic! Whoa, hey. Oh wait, do I have to spray these people? Yeah! 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 This is so much fun! Oh, 
I sprayed it too far! Spray! Oh, I hit that guy, though. Nice. Wow, he... <laughs> She's having a really good time. This is so heartwarming. She's actually having fun. Go a bit further! Come on! Oh, I got him on the feet! Yeah, I hit him on the head! And I hit that guy on the head! <laughs> How are you doing that? This is so much fun! Stop it, I'm gonna die! She's having such a good time! This is so heartwarming. I'm so happy I came here with B and didn't go with Greg. I'm sure Greg's story would have been very nice as well, but I find Greg a bit annoying, whereas I find B a complex character. Beatrice Santello! <laughs> Don't give them our names. Beatrice Jones! Oh, wow, is that you, God? Yes, it is I, God Stevenson. I didn't know you had a last name. Silence, mortal! Through my fish monster, I have lain waste to your kind. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty magical. Silence! I shall say it again. You and your good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. <laughs> yeah, we probably should get out of here. Ha ha ha, before you're arrested. Ha ha ha. The cops shall be confused and stuff and beat each other up, for I am God and I hate the cops. Okay, okay, get down here. Have a good one, mortal. That was fucking awesome. Because it's not sticking it to the man. The man isn't going to lose anything here, but she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in a much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever, return the shit. Okay, okay, I'm going. Hi. Hello. You're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. Here is that shit. We don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault the world is like this. What? You stole this? You're just a cog in a much bigger machine. To blame you would be like blaming a thing inside a whole thing. So you're returning stolen merchandise. One day, folks like you are going to overthrow the whole thing. What whole thing? The whole thing. We're leaving. Stay strong, you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? What just happened in that sequence? This place used to be something. I mean, it's still something. Nah, just big, mostly empty, in a big, mostly empty parking lot. Well, you work with what you have. Let's never come here again. Don't have to convince me. I only came here because you wanted to. Well, Fort Lucene used to be something. Now Fort Lucene's over. Let's go. Let it die in peace. Let it die. I want to drive on the way home. Nope. That is the perfect place to leave this episode. My goodness me. I had such a good time. I mean, we didn't have any kind of, you know, twists like we did last time where we found out about Bee's mother. But after last episode, I felt really guilty for kind of neglecting Bee and making her feel awful and bringing up her mum. So I wanted to spend today with her. And I really feel like there was character development there. And it was because of things that I did and I had fun and there was great dialogue and... Fuck, that was a great episode. This has honestly been one of my favorite games that I've ever played. And if you guys are enjoying it, be sure to like the video, subscribe to GameHog if you already haven't. Leave us a comment letting us know your favorite bit of today's episode because the entire thing was so magically written. And also, be sure to share this video with your friends because I find this series so wonderful. And I'm sure it's a game that most people don't even know exists or have no idea of. So send them over here so they can see it. Anyway, guys, we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye, -sies.